I'm Patrick Byers, Horticulture Field Specialist with University of Missouri Extension. Let's talk about tea budding. Tea budding is a good way to propagate many different types of fruits. Today we're going to focus on apples. Tea budding is a situation where the scion piece is a single bud and it's done during the growing season. It's early June and now is the perfect time to tea bud. Now it's important that both the rootstock and the scion be at the right stage for uh, tea budding to work. First th uh, step in tea budding is to collect the cyan wood. So we'll take a look at the branches on our tree and we're going to find a shoot of this season's growth. And if we look, here's a shoot that we can work with right here. So this branch here, all of this has grown so far in uh, this season. And the pieces that we're going to use for grafting, the single bud pieces, are going to be these leaves that are attached to the cyan wood. So we'll go ahead and sever this from the tree and then this will provide the buds that we will use for tea budding. The process of tea budding should be completed as soon as possible after the cyan wood is collected. The tools needed for the process are basically a pair of pruners to help with leaf removal, a sharp tool such as this box knife which allows us to make good sharp clean cuts on both the scion and the rootstock, and then some way to secure the sign and the rootstock together and to keep the union from drying out until the healing process is complete. And we're going to use this material here which is called parafilm. Parafilm is a very thin sheet of plastic coated on both sides with paraffin wax. We've collected our scion wood. Again, this is a piece of uh, a shoot that grew this current season. Tea budding is done during the growing season. The best buds for, uh, for the process are the buds that are in the lower half of this shoot. So these buds in this area here would be the best ones to work with. The first step that we do to prepare the uh, uh, cyan buds for, for the tea budding process is to clip the leaf blades from the petioles of the leaves. The uh, petiole that we leave serves as a handle during the process, but by removing the uh, leaf blades, we slow down the loss of water from the buds. So here is our cyan piece now ready for the process. Let's turn our attention to the rootstock. Now for the tea budding process to succeed, it's important that the rootstock be actively growing. And the term that we use is that the bark is slipping, and that means that the cambial layer, which is between the outer bark and the, the uh, xylem, or the center part of the stem, is actively growing. The cells in the cambial layer are actively dividing. And this is a point where healing will quickly take place when we insert the bud. So let's check and see if the, the uh, bark on this particular rootstock is slipping. Now, to make the, uh, the uh, tea bud cut, we first make a vertical cut that is about an inch in length. And then we make a horizontal cut at the top of our vertical cut. These two cuts form the tea. There's the, the stem of the tea and the top of the tea. Now we'll take the point of our blade and we will slip it underneath the bark and we're going to see if that bark is actually slipping. Oh, it is very good. See how easily it pulls away from the center part of the stem. The bark just slips very nicely. What we're doing is we're opening a pocket which will then receive the uh, bud piece that we prepare. See how nicely that bark has slipped away from there. As soon as possible after preparing the rootstock, we're going to prepare the scion piece. So taking again our stem that we prepared by removing the leaf blades from the petioles, we'll prepare the bud. And we start by cutting below the bud with our blade into the wood and then leveling our blade out and preparing the scion piece. And again, it's a single bud. We want to make the length of the scion piece to match the length of the pocket that we developed in the rootstock. We now take this piece, again here's our single bud piece, and we're going to insert this into the pocket. It's very important that this uh, part of the uh, scion piece be very smooth. There is a core of wood. Some grafters will remove that core, others leave it in. For our purposes, we're going to leave the core in the scion piece. So now we take it and we insert it into the pocket that we created in the rootstock. You see we're just sliding it down. The uh, corners of the uh, T are separating to allow the bud piece to enter. 
and we just slide it down until the top of the bud piece matches the top of the tee. You can see that's right at this point here. We'll just press it in nicely so that it lines up. There is our completed tee bud. Now we're going to wrap it with parafilm to stabilize this area until it heals and also to keep it from drying out. So I'll go ahead and use a piece of parafilm here and we start by wrapping below. Remember the parafilm sticks nicely to itself. It's ideally suited for tea budding. We wrap it below and we take it and we wrap it above and our goal is to wrap all of the cut surfaces without covering the bud. You'll see we continue to stretch and wrap the parafilm. And there is the completed tea bud. To review, when considering tea budding, first of all, think about the time of year. Tea budding is done when both the rootstock and the scion are actively growing. Here in Missouri, early June is a good time to consider tea budding. Secondly, both the rootstock and the scion must be actively growing. The bark must slip on the rootstock to allow the grafter to insert the scion piece. Collect the uh, scion piece from the apple tree and you're going to use a piece of wood that is from this current season's growth. Collect or consider the buds in the lower half of the shoot that you collect as the best ones to consider. Remove the blades from the petioles. Then uh, prepare the rootstock by making the tea cut, hoping that the uh, bark is actually slipping. Open the pocket, prepare the bud from your scion piece, insert it into the pocket, and then wrap it all with parafilm to secure it and to keep it from drying out until the healing process is complete. I'm Patrick Byers, Horticulture Field Specialist with University of Missouri Extension.